Hello everyone, this is East, and welcome back to Wargroove. So, we're gonna be doing the side maps now. And based on general training, these side maps are kinda of rough, but we're gonna be playing with Cinch this time, as an Abash Realtor tries to explain him himself. Apparently things are happening. May I speak of you? What a pleasant atmosphere here. Did someone say something? Uh... Go ahead, Roger. I wish to apologize. Please forgive me. I hope deeply that you never can forgive my misguided prejudice. Maybe. Keep talking. I've only met one of your kind before. Sedge. A flora known as Sedge. What? Of course. Sedge, I'm nothing like that creeper. Yes. I realize, uh, I realize that now. How did you ever know that jerk? Hmm. I met him several months ago. As the flashback begins, I presume this map is based on a flashback. The heaven song border. As this guy just comes waltzing along. Who goes there? Do you seek it? Do you seek aid? <laughs> seek aid? Mwahaha. <laughs> Evil laughter. You're not in need? Yes. Oh yes, poor sages in need. I need uh, in need of a snack. What? Indeed. Sir, I I don't understand. <laughs> Poor pretty soldier boy, can't see the wolf set his door. Step back. There's a sovereign territory I'm afraid you must leave. You're afraid? How very sensible of you. Alright, so whose side are we actually on? Okay, we're on Sitch's side. Sitch okay. Alrighty. Where are those delicious looking soldiers? There's a mistake to challenge them, Master Heaven Song, you'll be defeated. Alright, so the first off, we have air combat. Their air air base is on its own way over there. Okay, so, fact one, we do not have much buildings. They have a lot of buildings, so we're in a very poor position to start, which means we need to very quickly try and capture things and start pumping units out. All belongs to Sage. And essentially, this means it's going to be a primarily pikeman and ranger fight. Uh, we need some sort. We just need people to come out and start capturing. Right, how fast is this going to advance on me? Because I need to know what kind of units I need. Okay, I need Battle Pops. I definitely need Battle Pops at this that point. If it's just an infantry war, Battle Pops will get the job done. Alright, keep capturing. Alright, it's probably faster by wagon out to that um, next house, right? I don't know. Do I have the money to spare on wagons right now? Not really. Alright, we'll just start pumping out the quad nuts here. We're gonna have to see how long Sage can hold. Oh, well. Wow. Alright, never mind. We need a uh, anti air. <laughs> Got hiccups. I don't know why. Alright, so either way. We're gonna need a commander to hold the front line for a All little bit. Belongs to Sage. So basically we need to get our Quagmats on top of that um, ranger while getting um, our alchemist on top of, uh, well, shaman on top of their air unit over here. They're kind of far away from me so at this point I might be able to get away with not using one. But okay, we're just gonna keep pumping out more Quagmats. As long as it's an air bash, well, it's not an air battle completely yet, they can hold. It's becoming an air battle very soon. How far in can I pull this ranger? If I stand here, I'm pulling him in very close to me, so. Alright, we need um, anti air right now. We also need to get a pikeman running in to stop that knight from advancing on my head. Alright, we'll pull a pikeman out here and then we'll pull a... Uh, oh, we don't have the money. Um, I really need anti-air power soon, which is a major factor. I need that ranger to walk as close to me as possible, which requires me to just pull him in using my commander. Oh, yeah, I need anti-air power. I don't have anti-air power. This is going to be very awkward for a little bit. Probably should have brought the shaman out before the stabber. Stabber could have waited a little bit. Alright, um... Alright, we'll just end the turn here and wait for the ranger to walk into me. We have to do as much damage as we can to the front side. Oh, that's an alchemist. Ow. 
Okay, the problem is how close Rosha is going to get to me, basically. Alright, so then... The Knight is advancing on me, that's fine. That's kind of expected, really. The problem is this person right now. Well, we can pump out the, um... The... What do you call it? Alchemist this turn. So that's not a major issue. I think we can do the same thing as the story map and just start flying air units into their base. I doubt they'll stop me, based on how poor the um, AI is at stopping you in general. Also, one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can blow up this base from the other side of the wall if I have a catapult, so. Right, now then. I can literally make one of these idiots explode. Alright, either way, the battle pups are literally out here to just absorb hits for a little while. Oh yeah, what does your groove do? You do some like weird damage thing, right? So easy, indeed. Why do you like such destruction? Uh, hold up, how do I check you again? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hits a target for 35% damage. If a target is killed, the group is not depleted and turn does not end. So you can try to chain this through a bunch of units and you can do fundamental amounts of damage repeatedly and then just go from there. Alright, attack the battle pup. We need to create a wall to protect our alchemist and our pikeman. Our pikeman's the one that needs to be protected the most because he's the one that has a deal with the other knight. How much money do we have? <laughs> okay. That is far enough creature. Siege disagrees indeed. Alright, so you won't fight my alchemist no matter what. That's a fact. And with how far they can move, it should be quite easy to squeeze in there. One, two, three, okay. If they attack my things, that'll be that'll be fine, okay. This is fine. 400 lift. I thought I need some shooters to start popping out as well. And then we'll figure out how to uh push into their side. Another ranger. I don't know about that, okay. That's what then controlled expectations, that knight just exploded. Okay, now you're- oh, you're not my commander. That makes my life a bit easier. That's fine. We're just backing up. Okay. Alchemist is walking forward, but I think my battle pups can absorb the next couple of hits. Alright, so my pikeman can reach the knight. That's very good stuff. And Rocha's kind of backed up, so I actually have a bit of space to work with now. It's a good thing, um, the knight just walks into me though. Take that. Okay. Where's the, uh, what are they doing for air units right now? Okay, uh, we need to just hurt you, I think. Ideally. Or I could just walk into you and just try and kill you. Um, 900 gold. Alright, we need to just pop up some shooters here. We need to start bringing out the artillery. Alright, so, uh, we can, we can't kill you. That's kind of bad. Okay, um, but we can sacrifice another battle pup to the alchemist here. Or we could just bring Sage forward. That's the other choice. At this point, the commanders should be hitting each other, but they won't be killing each other yet. And instead, I can just try to bring down, yeah, if I hurt this alchemist a lot, he's out of the fight. We'll bring Sage all the way forward. It's not at the point where commanders are killing each other yet, so that should be okay. And then we'll just back up the next turn straight away. What we really need to, we can just use the heal from our alchemist. And we'll go from there, okay. Now, unfortunately these things are stupidly tank against um, everything that isn't a pikeman, so... Or I can expose my quagmut and see if we can absorb a hit. I don't know if you'll choose this other commander, honestly. This might position me in a weird spot. Yeah, I'm actually quite far into his base really. I need a wagon. Bring the wagon now onto the road. Uh, they will back out of here. Okay, what air units do I have? Okay, just the usual. That's fine. We're doing a low econ fight, so air units become highly valuable the more we push in. Okay, air unit popped out. He's trying to fight with Sage, so that's two, two units wasting their turns essentially by backup. And I still have a lot of quad in his face, pretty much. 
Okay, that hurt a lot, but I can block him. Alright, he needs to back up. Um, and then I can move. Alright, we need to just hold the line here. Alright, we'll back you up. Um, we'll put a quagma in front of you. So you want to walk into this, you're free to, but I don't know why you would. Um, yeah, we need to hold the line until we get some bitter units out here. Alright, we need another shooter, I think would be ideal here. Get some cheaper units out. I don't think he'll walk forward. If he walks forward into me, that'll be pretty bad for him. And he can't bring his air unit into my face quite yet. Alright, we'll just slowly create a war here and then work our way into his face slowly and progressively. We're getting our shooters into positions now, so he can't easily walk into me as he'd like. Hmm. I can still run a lot of my Quagmats into him, which is also interesting. Uh, that's a very agent range. Yeah, that's as far as he can come forward right now. 280 gold, okay. Alright. We'll back our pikemen up a little bit. And then we'll sit at the very edge of the Sphinx range for now. And we'll set a bunch of shooters. So you move over here, and then we'll set a bunch of shooters at the edge of the range. And he really shouldn't try to walk into this. Ideally he won't try to walk into this. And then we'll try to do something about his bases. If I just save up for air combat, this might actually be better for me. He's gonna walk into me? Oh, he's going around. Okay. Alright, now that's an interesting position. <laughs> that Siege Groove is ready. Siege can assassinate enemies that are close to death. If Siege's target dies, Siege's turn doesn't even end. Indeed. Alright, so we'll just start poking you out of here. Okay, that's nearly dead. Um, right. We've got a decent war set up, so this should be okay for a little bit. Uh, I think we need to bring out a witch right now, just so that we have a way of dealing with those air units as they come flying in. We don't have enough money for it. We're 20 off. That's kind of unfortunate, but... Okay, so you are... Hmm... Alright, so basically the idea is to try and hurt them all by a fair amount and then drop... Just walk in with the groove and just try, try to pop them. That's probably the ideal play here. Right, we'll just pop you out. Unfortunately, we don't have any units that are good on the counter. And I'm presuming, even though we're playing with Siege, we're not allowed Giants. Yeah, we're not allowed Giants, so that's still a thing. Uh, we kind of have to keep bringing our shooters till we have a good oh, chokehold on this general location, though. Um, put a wagon here. Stop our units from getting surrounded first off. Wait on the square. Walk in a bit further. Alright, what is that hop P trying to do? If he's going over there, then I don't need my alchemist on this side. There's only a knight that's really threatening me, and I can't deal with that, so. You'll never see me coming! <laughs> oh, you can do two steps of that? That's unfortunate. I don't know, you could- I thought he had to change directions, but okay. Uh, regardless, this is now a very big problem because he's kind of in my face. And we're kind of forced into a very tight fight now. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're chasing the Harpy. Alright, first off, we need to do this, just to hurt you a lot. The problem is that the arranger is now kind of hiding behind a wall, but you have to go. We can't leave you standing, so... Regardless of what happens here, you have to go. 
Why did you walk in that close? Okay, well, never mind. Just, this guy's probably dead. Um... Alright, I guess we just start pelting him with weird shots. There's only an alchemist. Mm. If I can get rid of this swordsman, I can hurt the alchemist. It's a good thing this crystal does a fair amount of damage. Even if I'm stuck over here. Right. Come on, Harpy. Sit down and let me hit you. Alright, just stop pelting him. Hmm. We'll do this. Alright, we try and use this to make Sitch aggressively walk into them. But that is a thing we can try and do. Sage do that. Okay, that knocks that guy out. Uh, the problem is we can't get around the top of this guy next in the same turn, so we'll just hurt him a lot with our swordsmen using the crit next to the commander. Totally planned. Ooh. Okay, that blocks that up a little bit. Alright. How are we doing to the freight? Not very good. We'll load into here, would we'll just drop onto this mountain here. So if he wants to fight Commander directly, he'll have to do it on the mountain. Um, you know what, we'll just pop another shooter out here. If he wants to keep fighting my shooters, he's in a pretty poor position to do so. Okay, in turn here. That Harpy can't destroy all of my cities in a single turn, so my alchemist just need to keep chasing it. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. I'm still taking free turns to do that, so... And it's gonna hurt them a lot to try and go through my, um... base of all things. Alright, I guess we're chasing, uh, Rota, because he's walked all the way into my base now. Yeah, that's gonna take you more than one turn. Alright, we're chasing him. We're just walking in and chasing him, I guess. It'll take him at least two turns. I can literally surround him with units by the time he gets up there, so... Keep pelting him with random stuff. And we'll keep threatening his reinforcements so that they can't save him, essentially. Um... Alright, we'll load the shooter up. How much do you do to each other? Okay, I might actually get a very quick turn score on this map purely because he's walked into me. And he's decided to dive straight through into my base for some reason. Um, we'll do that. Let's put another shooter down. Uh, like, we don't need to fight him anymore. We literally just need to back up. Like, okay. I mean, I guess this works. There's no way him at full health can destroy that base. I mean, he's trying. He's running away now. You can run, but you cannot hide! Oh, I got my thing. Huh. Uh, so unfortunately, we're a little bit far away. And we're done! Okay, that was interesting. I think that was a very poor maneuver of um, Rocha's groove by the AI. Because we literally just. He just ended up in the middle of my team and I just killed him. The pretty soldier boy was no match for Sage, indeed. No. So he's killed off a bunch of people, apparently. They feared these men, but heaven's song will not afford to you. 
Hibben Song? See, she doesn't care about Hibben Song. Only those sweet and succulent soldiers. You're a monster. Indeed, he is a monster. Yes. yes, a ravenous monster. And do you know the worst thing about ravenous monsters? <laughs> they always come back for sickness. <laughs> uh huh. That happened basically back in the prisons. Sorry, Roger. That sounds horrible. <laughs> sounds like Siege. Because like, yeah, that sounds like him. It was a crushing defeat by a villainous foe. You know, in this instance, this crushing defeat was because you're a moron. Clearly, the memory of it has marred my judgment. Well, Siege can leave quite an impression. No. There was no reason for me to. I, I apologize about reservation. I won't let myself be so blinded again. Now I know you, I have nothing but the deepest respect for you, Hunter Nuru. You. And, and for you too, Queen Mercia. <laughs> uh, enough of all the mushy stuff. We're cool. Indeed. Alright, well that was very fast. Got an S for that because Roger decided to be an idiot. Well, that's the best grade I've had in a very long time because I don't know what but the game wants me to go very fast because I keep getting C's for long t turn counts. Alright, we can now play a Siege. And then we've got the 10 remap. And then we're back onto what looks like it's going to be more air combat because we're not quite at sea combat yet. Alright, so that went very well. Mainly because the AI is stupid as heck. But that'll be it for this episode of Wargroove. Hopefully the next map will be about as good. I think we're playing- are we playing as a Miracle or playing a Tenry? We're playing a Tenry, okay. Uh, we'll do this next time at four side two. See if this map is also as ridiculous with the other side maps, or they're going to be as easy as this one. All right, so that'll be it for this episode of Wargroove. If you want to see more content from the channel, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.